specific heat capacity. It is the quantity of heat required in joules to raise temperature by 1 degree centigrade of 1 kg of a substance. So remember it is quantity of heat required to raise temperature by 1 degree centigrade of 1 kg of a substance. So which can hold more water or which has more capacity? A bucket of water or a cup of water? Obviously the bucket has a higher capacity. But which has more capacity? A bucket of iron or a bucket of gold? When we think of water, it sounds strange, both should have the same capacity. But when we start thinking of heat and specific heat capacity, it is a little different. The specific heat capacity of iron is known to be about 500 joules per kg per degree centigrade. And for gold, it is known to be about 130 joules per kg per degree centigrade. Here we have two blocks of iron and gold of 1 kg each and we are having imaginary cavities in these blocks of iron and gold. These will help us understand the concept of specific heat capacity. Now suppose we start pouring water in both these blocks and what we will find obviously is that uh, the gold block which has a lower specific heat capacity or a lower capacity uh, of cavities to hold water fills up faster. So gold has lower water capacity and it fills up first and the iron which has a higher capacity takes more time to fill. So we will use this analogy to understand similarly the specific heat capacity of a 1 kg block of iron and a 1 kg block of gold. We have put a thermometer to record the 1 degree centigrade rise in temperature and we start the heat. And we find that gold is heating up faster because it has a lower specific heat capacity and the iron takes more time and more heat to raise its temperature by 1 degree centigrade. So what we find is that gold has therefore a lower specific heat capacity. It heats up faster and it takes in lower amount of heat for 1 degree centigrade rise in temperature. And iron has a higher specific heat capacity. It heats slower and it takes up more heat uh, to raise its temperature by 1 degree centigrade. And what happens if we consider a tap on the edge of the block of iron and gold and start emptying out the water, the imaginary water which is there in the block of iron and gold. The gold empties out first and that is expected. So gold cools faster and iron takes longer to cool down. So iron cools slower. So gold which has a lower specific heat capacity cools faster and iron which has a higher specific heat capacity cools slower. Here we have 1 kg of iron and 4 kg of gold. And the question is, which has more specific heat capacity, 1 kg iron or 4 kg gold? 
Well, that's an absurd question. Specific heat capacity is comparison of heat required for 1 kg of iron versus 1 kg of gold. And we can say that heat capacity of 1 kg of iron is less than 4 kg gold. So that's a heat capacity. But specific heat capacity of iron is more than gold. 